if you could uh, sit down to dinner with four people, dead or alive, who would they be and why? Yeah, that, uh, luckily I got tipped off. I was going to get asked that, and it's been a tough thing to, to answer. And, and uh, my first whim was to say, you know, I've, I'm an old tennis player, and so, uh, you know, Borg fascinates me and McEnroe and Federer and those guys. But then you've got to go with dead people, I think, because... Because I still have a shot to have dinner with those guys, and, and uh, I don't have a shot to have dinner with, uh, with Genghis Khan. Because um, I like to know how he, figured, how he was able to conquer the world. And that's uh, pretty fascinating uh, to be able to sit with a guy that's been dead for, for 900 years. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Still remembers. Yeah. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, how, how wouldn't you like to talk to that guy? Was he, was he ever ahead of his time? And, uh, He's a guy that's always fascinated me. And, uh, you know, when I was in university, I, I was studied history, and he was one of my favorite uh, topics, so he'd be at the table. Uh, Winston Churchill, you know, uh, would be at the table. Um, you know, what's life without, uh, without humor and, uh, and wisdom and uh, intellect uh, like he had? And, and, um, and uh, then uh, who else would have the table? And, and then what's life without love? I guess you'd have to have Marilyn Monroe there because you wouldn't want to be... Uh, <laughs> All alone, so uh, so those 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 would be the four people. I, I think uh, I'd have all my bases covered. We'd have the guy that could order the drinks and a guy that could uh, we could get it all figured out with those four. I think so. 